Howdy friends. Right, dealing with junk mail. Truther's way. Kid out. Have you seen this? Watch it. Right, junk mail. This is a little collection I have of junk mail. Over 50, obviously I'm over 50, I'm getting all this rubbish. I'd cover these up so you can't see my name and address. Repeats. All these things. All these things, I keep getting them, I don't spy, for me it's unsolicited mail, it costs money, it costs trees, we've got plastic flipping windows, that ends up, if it's recycled, it ends up in the paper chain, and eventually paper ends up in the sea, in some form or another, or you know, and I'm just going to show you how I deal with them. This is about a quarter of the amount I've got to deal with. I keep putting them aside, and I'm going to show you how I deal with them. Okie doke. Now I'm going to take the top two here. Just to demonstrate what I do, tools I use, I've got a letter opener here, it's, it's some sort of knife, but um, that's what I'm using. This one I've already opened, as you can see, and I've actually doctored the documents inside we've just removed my name and address so I will use that one for demonstration of how I open them now I don't open them through uh, along here it tends to be a bit messy and I find it's less obvious that it's been opened if I go in through this seam here now I'm not sure how this is coming out with it's, you know, there's two ways to do it, or there might even be more. But uh, one is to steam. I am not going to waste energy. So what I do is gently prise, gently prise, gently prise. I don't worry if I rip it under there. All I want to do is just keep this seam re reasonably uh, clean, I guess, and unripped. But uh, at the end of the day, I don't care if it, if it does get messed up. Okay, I don't care about documents inside. I obviously know what this is. It's spam. I don't want spam. Now, if you've got a message, this is for you. If you're a truther and you want to share something, then... You kind of going to be locked down soon with the internet and YouTube and Facebook so if you want to spread any messages I'll just clean that up a little bit okie doke so I've opened that I take the innards out now I don't recycle I keep everything I upcycle so everything I've got um, every single tin can that I've had within the last well since my beloved left so it was probably about the last four years or five years I kept everything I don't use any of the council services for recycling or rubbish my wheelie bin is filled with rainwater I use that to collect rainwater the only rubbish I do have is occasionally plastic it's very difficult to avoid but I burn that paper I keep you can you know paper mache it you can Burn it, paper mache it, dry it out and burn it, use it as fuel. It can de it decomposes for compost. Uh, you know, so I don't 
use council facilities. Bearing in mind that this is it, a precious resource this. You know, it's trees, it's paper, it's got a value, it's got a positive value, otherwise people wouldn't be in business recycling it, would they? Okay, the same with tin cans, it's got a, it's got a, it's got a value. It's about 100, 100, £120 a tonne of steel, but to me a tin can, you know, you can, you can upcycle it. Uh, 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 you know, there's a multitude of things you can do with a tin can, but I'm not paying somebody else to take away these goods, these materials, and make money off of it. You know, I might as well just save all my tin cans up until I get a ton and sell it. I don't buy much in aluminium. In fact, I don't actually buy anything in aluminium. Um... Occasionally, but uh, if I'm buying a cider, which I rarely do, I, I buy it in a bottle to drink it out. It's a bit of a treat. Uh, glass, I don't throw any glass out. Any glass, with it, and I keep the lids. Every, every single glass bottle, jar, poppy top jar, I've kept. And... That's about it, really. Any plastic pots I've had, I keep. I use them for growing seedlings or things like that. But I don't, I don't have the need for recycling facilities. So that's what I don't do. So anyway, that's how I've opened that. I'll put that to one side. Now this one I've already opened. That on the face, I put some of these sticky back stickers, just so that uh, it's hidden, really. And on that, I will write "Return to Sender." It's got a return address here return to sender now I'm fortunate enough that I got a printer so because I've got so many to do and that's probably about a quarter of what I've got that pile there that little pile over there so I'll just print off these things because I'm going to do one big fell swoop and I'll take the innards out make sure it's empty I want to take any reference to me and my address I want to remove it. Now, if I go through all of these, some of these, some of these, I, some of this I will keep. I'll keep that. That's a de decompostable. That type of paper. That is a plastic paper. So I, I just, I might send that back. There's a little thing like that. There's a little thing like that. There's that. There's also another one of these. So. I can send that off to the, the address with my little message inside. Okay. And terms and conditions. So. I might actually keep that. And I might actually keep them a little bit. But I just want to give it a little bit of bulk. Really. And. Then what I do is I get my message. Now, whatever you, whatever your agenda is, be it any of these, be it Free Willy, I don't know, be it whatever, Free Julian Assange, whatever message you want to get across. If you want to direct anybody to a website, just bang it in there. It's a bit of potluck, but it's just potlucky as them sending me this. Okay. Now, again, I will be printing off all my responses, all my little messages. Um, you know, I mean, you can even put...
whatever. Whatever your message be, just bang it there. Down, catalabis, you understand? So then, all I do is fold it in with a few bit more bits of paper, slip it in. And I'm using this, it was a pound for a giant great amount of PVA glue. I'll give it a little bit of a little bit on there, don't need much. Wipe it with my finger, I'm not that poncy. Okay, you don't. And then I'll tuck it in. Now anything that you do return, make sure it's got no reference to you. If you don't know, you might outlaw it. Okay, you don't. But as far as I'm concerned, they're sending me rubbish that I'm not interested. If I was interested in it, I would ask. Wouldn't I? So I tuck it in, seal it down, Bob. Yeah, return to sender, prepaid. I don't don't cost me nothing. Don't cost me anything. Looks a bit messy there, but hey, who cares? This one, I'll do the same with this. This is a nice new one. I won't lick that because of my DNA. I'll use a bit of tap water on that. Put my message inside. That can go in the post box too. Okay. That's basically junk mail. Now, the windows, you can either get these sticky on ones. It's little sticky squares, rectangles. What I do is... I've already pre-cut some of these. All right, in ink. Return to sender. I'll check that it fits. Yes, it does. And again, a little bit of glue, craft glue, kids glue, paper. Which needs just needs to be able to stick paper to paper. Really, if you're struggling for that, um, flour and water make a paste. I'm not sure how long that will last, but. Uh, at the end of the day, it's, it's an alternative. Uh, if you're an egg eater, I'm not. But um, if you eat eggs, egg white is a good glue. In fact, it's a fantastic glue, egg white. You can stick... I mean, have you ever tried getting a dry egg, dried egg off of a plate? It's almost impossible, really. Okay, and then... We'll stick that on return to sender, uh, uh, over the window. Let it dry. And then, that's a good one. Prepaid. Obviously I haven't doctored this with my uh, message, but I'll do that, that'll be the next one I do. So, basically, that is how a truther deals with junk mail. Marketing material enclosed. Now, you know, all you, I, feel, I feel for, uh, like, the postman has just got to deliver this crap. 
you know, it just, the amount of rubbish that the postman has been given to deliver, uh, re, uh, well, it's not recently, it's over the last, it's since, probably since it's been privatised. You know, it costs, this is all tax deductible. All this shit is tax deductible by the big, these flipping great big companies. So, I mean, it doesn't cost them anything. They've got no morals, no scruples. They don't think, well, that's, you know, for every batch we send out, that's like two trees we've had to have chopped down. Um, you know, so, stuff them, I say. They can have it back, but they get my message with it. Okay, and you never know whose lap it ends up on. Now, if you've got multiple ones like this, I, what I tend to do is spread them. One day I'll post it because it's going back to the same company. The following day I'll post one because it's going back to the same company, but hopefully it will land on uh, a different person's desk. And, okie doke, friends. I think that about covers it. You know, I've mass cut these. I've used a, a, a cutting board and a Stanley, Stanley knife, sharp, uh, a sharp knife. I've, I, my fat marker is dried up. Am I allowed to say fat marker? Obese? N n anyway, my big marker then is dried up, which is why I'm using uh, this pencil. Chippy's pencil, otherwise I would have used a fat ink pen. Um, but like I say, I will be doing multiple of these, so I will be printing mine off, because like I say, I'm fortunate it comes with my business. So, alright then friends, that's uh, that, that basically sort of concludes my video on how troopers deal with junk mail. Okie doke. Get yourself one of these as well. Get yourself a little Bible. Okay. Revelation 13. Sixteen. Verse, well, from six, uh, Revelation 13, verse 16. He also forced everyone, small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on his right hand or on his forehead, so that no one could buy or sell unless he had the mark, which is the name of the beast or the number of his name. This calls for wisdom. If anyone has insight, let him calculate the number of the beast, for it is man's number. His number is 666. Biometric vaccine, forced implants, Bill Gates. I just felt compelled to read that, but get yourself a little Bible. Don't be, don't be ignorant and don't fear. All right, friends. Viva. Watch that. It's happened. It's already happened. It's begun. Okie doke. Love you all.